Hello again, it's April here, and welcome back to another studio vlog. It is Thursday night, and we are just starting the studio vlog. So I actually wasn't going to start until the weekend, because I haven't really been doing much this week. Actually, I can't remember what I've been doing, but I've been chilling. I've been playing some Minecraft, and last night we had a sketchbook club with... Bia from Appendix Illustrator, uh, her patrons, some of her patrons do a sketchbook tour club. You can tell I haven't spoken to the camera in ages. Uh, so that was fun. Drew lots of trees and things, which was nice. And I did a couple of orders, which is here, but um, I haven't posted them. I'll probably print the labels out and post them tomorrow morning. And yeah, I thought I'd pop on now just because I was going to do some drawing tonight, which I wasn't going to show on the camera. But I decided I didn't really feel like it. So what I'm actually going to do instead is go on my computer. And I'm going to work on the sticker sheets for the next update. Which is the Animal Sanctuary update. So like I mentioned I think last week or two weeks ago. I can't remember. Basically what I want to do is I want to design the sticker sheets. So I know exactly what animals I want to include for my sketches. Um, what types of sticker sheets I want. If it's just like a horse's one or... Um, a selection of animals or uh, baby animals with their parents, things like that. So that's what I'm going to do now, just design it. I'm just cutting and pasting very, very quick. And then at the weekend, maybe we can start actually drawing some or painting some of the things. We probably won't, to be honest. This is the only thing I have on my list this weekend to do for the Etsy shop. So I'm lying to you guys. This weekend, I'm literally just planning to draw all weekend and paint. So that's definitely going to be on the vlog, but I thought we'd get some Etsy stuff in there too, otherwise it won't be a studio vlog, it'll just be like a painting vlog. <laughs> and I would be lying on YouTube, and I don't think that's allowed. I'm gonna get to it, and I'll show you like a little bit of the process, I guess, because uh, that might be interesting for some of you. So yeah, I'll pop back in a bit. It's Friday morning now, and it might be a little bit noisy because I got the window open, it's very warm in here today, very humid and uh, warm, a warm spring day and rainy. I'm basically at work right now, it's lunchtime, and I just thought I'd pop on to show you the stickers I did last night. I did about half of them last night for an hour, and then I did half of them this morning when I wake up before work. So I've got them all done now, and let's see what I got. Basically I set up this here, which was my bird stickers, and I rotated one of them. Then to get the size, I kind of put them behind, so it's the very first thing you see. So these are the bird stickers. Size them, move them around. So I've got a few here. I'll just take you through them. I've got ducks and geese. These are sticker sheets. Ducks and geese, goats and sheep, stylized bunnies, chickens and turkeys. And this one here that I'm calling Animal Sanctuary because I wanted to do like a collection set just in case people just wanted one of each or just a collection. So these are the sticker sheets. So I do sticker sheets when there's more than like, you know, 10, when there's about, you know, 14, 16. And then on this one, I'll just zoom out. This one is my sticker pack size. So I basically do the same with the cats to kind of get like the same size. So I have the jumping lambs, my little piggies, the bunnies, and these chickens here that were old chickens but I really love these ones so I wanted to make them into one and then I have this random goat here so I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with him so those are all the ones I've organised at the moment I still have the horses to do but I haven't finished drawing the horses yet and I think that's it so just the horses and basically I'm going to do a combination of sticker sheets and sticker packs one thing I'm not quite sure about is how I'm going to do them because obviously they were all done in my sketchbook but I think a lot of them need to be fixed up kind of redrawn, made better. So I'm not sure what, like the easiest thing would be digital, but I don't want them all to be digital because I quite like the look of the painted ones I have. Like for my 100 day project, I have lots of painted ones and I think they look quite nice. So one of my options is to do the outline on Procreate, print it out really th like lightly on watercolor paper or something like that, and then paint on it and then scan it back in and then go over it again in Procreate to like tidy it up. So I might do that but I'm not going to do that this week. This week I literally just wanted to organise it so I knew what I was doing. These are just for the stickers. I also want to do prints and things. Um, maybe some gift cards and maybe a little zine. So, yeah. 
I'm not quite sure. We'll start with the stickers and we'll go from there. So probably next week I will start on the stickers. But this week I just wanted to do that one thing and then finish the horses and that will get me back on track. But that is all I'm going to do this week. I didn't want to do too much because I have quite a lot of other stuff I want to do this weekend. Like just drawing and general art. So I'll probably pop back tomorrow because tonight I've got a live stream with my patrons. So we're going to do a chat and sketch which will be nice. And apart from that just chilling out. You know, the weekend soon, yay! Saturday morning and I've got the last pages of the tea leaf paper um, ready to press and if I hold it up to the light you can see this one's quite thin. So we're getting to the end of the mixture. There's still um, some left, I, let, I put it in a little bowl and it's going to dry out so we can use it again down the line. And then what I've been doing is every couple of days putting them in my flower press and flattening them. So this gets all of the corners in but the top still is bulgy which is where these guys come in. I've showed these before. They're just hand clamps. There we go. And then leave that overnight and tomorrow we'll have flat paper. I showed my collection a couple of weeks ago I think. This is where we currently stand. Look at all of that paper. Most of this is the tea paper because I just made so much of it. I had so much mixture. And then we got this white paper here, which is quite nice. So this weekend I did say I was going to try watercolour paper. I watched a few tutorials and not really that helpful really. Um, it's not, there's a couple that say they're making watercolour paper, but they're just making regular paper. And I'm like, that's not watercolour paper. So I had to look into how watercolour paper was made. And I found a few people that made it with like starch. But I didn't really look into that. What I looked at was Taya from Taya Parker Blocks. And he talks about how watercolour paper is made. And how it's sized at the end and everything. And looking into it, it looks like they use gelatin to size the water watercolour paper. So to put a layer of that onto the paper. And uh, I found a gaga agaga uh, powder which is like a plant-based version of gelatin it's made from seaweed so i've ordered some of that it's not going to be here till tuesday so that's going to be step number two to try and make um like a sizing uh, seal i guess and step number one is using cotton as well so this week i'm not going to do it today because i've got i'm not going to do it this weekend because i've got a lot of stuff to do but i just want to let you know uh, next week I'm going to start making the watercolour paper hopefully. So I'm going to use a mixture of paper and cotton wool balls and hopefully that's going to work. I have watched a few videos where people do it with cotton wool and it looks like it could go pretty badly but it'll be fun to watch anyway. That's what we're going to do. I just going to give you a paper update because I know that I mentioned I was going to make it but I just don't have the supplies this week. And the rest of the day I'm probably going to be doing some drawing and some painting just like tomorrow. I did some orders this morning, got a few little orders and put into the post box soon and I am running out of stock, I have like hardly any sticker, sticker sheets left so I'm kind of hoping I can wait until next week because it's Easter weekend next weekend and I've got a long weekend, I'm hoping I can wait until then to do a big restock so if I get orders this week I may leave them till the weekend but we'll see. Anyway, that's all. Um, I'll pop back later and we'll do some drawing or painting. I've got a couple of fun exercises I want to try today. So, that's all. See you later. It's a little bit later and I just got a call from the library. Very exciting. They have this program that I just found out about. I don't know if it's a program, I guess it's a service. Just found about it this week. But I think they've had it for like the entirety of lockdown, which is annoying because I would have used it up until now. Um, it's where basically you fill out this form and you say what type of books you like to read, what ages, you know, you want the books for, and then they hand pick books for you and then you go pick them up. It's like book pick and mix. So I have this gigantic bag of books and I thought we could do not an unboxing, but an unbooking and see what I got. So I shoved these all in, but I actually haven't had a look. I asked for two children's books. She probably thought I had kids, but surprise, I don't, they're for me. All right, I got uh, Goldilocks and Space. Very nice. Do a bit of research, have a look at some kids' books. And I got Stop That Dinosaur. <laughs> 
amazing. I definitely wouldn't have chosen this one myself if I was looking because normally I just go for the pictures and this one isn't really in the style that I like that much but it's book pick a mix. You could have five adult books and you'd have five kids books. I asked for three young adult books and I chose adventure and action. Um, this one definitely isn't a young adult book. I didn't realize they had cute illustrations. I might, I might read that one. Shifty McGifty and Slippery Sam. The Returners, which looks like typical uh, teenage drama. And then The Boy I Am, When Power Corrupts, Tear It Down, which looks a bit like a dystopian book. So that's cool. Oh, I love it. I love getting surprises. Okay, and the next up is adult books because I'm an adult. So for adult, I chose general fiction and thriller and horror. Silence by Shuseko Endo, set in 1640. Definitely would not have chosen that one myself. Agatha Christie, Ordeal by Innocence. You know what, I've literally never read an Ag Agatha Christie novel. So that one's a mystery. A uh, Plain Song by Kent Haruff it says it explores the grace and hope of every human life and mankind's infinite capacity for love. So probably not a horror. Kathy Reich's A Conspiracy of Bones. Oh, look, it's a Temperance Brennan novel, which means it's part of a series. And um, when I read, like, I love reading series, but I always have to read them in order. So, first day of my life. This one looks like a young adult novel too. And this one here, Dragonfly Eyes. Oh, set in Shanghai, that's cool. Definitely some books that I wouldn't have chosen myself. I don't think I would have chosen any of these myself. Maybe this one, actually. This one looks pretty fun. I like the cover. I know they say don't judge a book by its cover, but I do. Those are all of my mystery books. Let me know if you've read any of these and if they're any good. And uh, maybe we can have a little book chat in the comments below. It's the afternoon now, it's about 4.30, 4. I was trying to get like optimal pineapple head. That's better. It's funny that I would never go out in public like this, but I would go on the internet. <laughs> what What is that? I'm sure that if you guys make videos to you do stuff on the internet that you wouldn't do in real life. I don't know, I don't know. Maybe I think I'm alone just in my room with my camera. Uh, so it is the afternoon now, we went for a nice walk at lunchtime and then uh, came home and we ended up playing this new video game called Valheim, Valheim, which is on the PC, it's like a survival game and it's in beta right now. You're like a viking warrior and it's punching trees, things like that, pretty fun. So I dropped those orders off that I did at the post box on the way home and then literally 10 minutes after I popped in the post box I got another order. I don't know if this happens to you but it seems to happen to me. Every single weekend, I pop my the orders in the post box and about 10 minutes to half an hour later, I get another order. Now I was thinking today, maybe I should go to the post box more often. <laughs> I don't think it works like that. So I had another order come through and they wanted some sticker sheets and I know I said I was gonna wait until next week, but that's quite a long while to wait and they were all out of stock. So I got Gertie out and we got to work. I mean, I did the order, it didn't take long. Just a few little sticker sheets. And I thought while I was doing that I would make something else because this week, I think I mentioned I literally have one goal this week which was to design my sticker sheets and also to make one little sticker. I don't think I mentioned that but I made this little sticker which is the little horsey that I did last week. So I only made one. I did draw four horses in this kind of style. Um, in my sketchbook but I only made one of it into a sticker and I'm thinking I'll take two more and do like a, a three sticker set because I think three is a nice number especially when they're like quite chunky like this they're quite big this is my bullet journal actually and these stickers are quite big so they're not like that big but with the surface area they do take up quite a lot so yeah I thought that might be nice just like a, a little three set and then I also want to do some more horses maybe as a sticker sheet, but I haven't finished my horses yet, which I have to do this weekend, but so far I haven't drawn anything. I've been procrastinating. So I might do some art now before dinner. But yeah, just wanted to show you all these guys. I think they're really cute. Did them on glossy paper and I really like how the colours turn out on it. 
Hello, I'm a horse. That's literally all the stuff I'm going to do for Etsy this week. <sighs> the last couple of weeks I've, give, I've given myself so much stuff to do, like literally 17 items to do in a day. And then obviously I can't get it done because there's not enough time in the day to do all of that. And then I feel really bad and really like down because I just think, oh, you're not good enough. You didn't get this done. You should be working more. Stop playing games, you know. So this week I just wanted to give myself like a list that I could check off and then have some accomplishment that I did everything which is good so now I have to get to drawing because literally I've left every all of my art stuff till last I don't know why I do this sometimes I do I procrastinate drawing just because other stuff is easier you know like admin stuff so I'm gonna do a little painting exercise and I have this apple here that I just I'm literally gonna pop on the next sketchbook page and I really wanted to do a lemon, but Martin used it the other day for risotto. So I'm going to do this apple. I'm pretty sure it's a gala. Um, it's got a dent there. And I like it because it's got some interesting... It's got a dent there too. Some interesting gradations of colour. Uh, from like this rosy colour to this like lighter colour. Because it's quite diffused right now. It's the afternoon, cloudy, so there's no harsh shadows. It's like a little shadow there. So I'm just going to keep it here. And I'm going to move out of the way so you can't see it. Not that I'm trying to hide it from you, but I just can't get everything in the shot at once. I'm going to be using the acrylic wash. I'm only going to be using one paintbrush, which is this kind of uh, flat, flathead, fat, fat paintbrush. So basically, I will let you know what I'm doing as I'm getting ready here. I'm doing this exercise from a guy on YouTube called the paint coach and he's really cool I, I, I started watching his videos maybe oh, I don't know a month ago I found him just through a suggestion on on Insta on our YouTube and he's really awesome he does mainly oil so most of his stuff is for oil but he doesn't only a few of his videos are like oil specific a lot of them are uh like just theory or kind of method um into like inspiration pep talks things like that and he had one last week called uh 30 strokes or less and basically it's like an exercise where you paint an object and it's like a simple object and you try and paint it in 30 brush strokes or less he goes into it in his video which i'll definitely leave the link below to he goes into it um and explains it a lot better than i can but basically it's to help stylize, um, observe, kind of slow down, look, you know, things like that. And mainly for like stylization. Yeah, it does look like a lot of fun. So I'll try and keep everything like real time and I'll pop the count number on screen so we can. So I'm just looking at this apple guys. I'm just thinking about where to start. So I don't see it straight on. I'm kind of seeing it like from this angle. So I guess the first step is getting the overall shape, but not doing not doing a block and then colouring it in, but kind of like getting the shape in strokes and then also using the colour at the same time, if that makes sense. Okay, we'll see how it goes. No pencil line, nothing. <laughs> Let's do this. Oh shit, was that two? Oh, I think it was two because I picked my pink. I picked my paintbrush up. That was only meant to be one. Okay, let's start again. One. <laughs> no one saw that. I'm um, trying to like remember, think about where the apple is and also like look at the shape of the apple and I'm gonna probably keep it more square than, than round, you know, like more stylized. So that was two. Oh, I'm so nervous. I don't know why, I have like, that's five, I have 25 left to go. So you, you know, we're like, we're fine. Like, don't even stress April, you're fine. I'll try and bring this in so you can see me mixing, because I know some people like to see that. I find it really interesting to see how people mix. Right, seven, this is seven. Hmm, and eight. This, this is gonna be harder than I thought it was, you know? Especially when the colours are like completely off. Mm. Nine. Ten. 
11. <laughs> oh dear, this is funny. And he was saying that this takes like about 20 minutes, 30 minutes each one. And the good thing about it is that basically because it doesn't take so long, you can do multiple of them. So like if this one is really bad, I can do another one, which I probably should have left some space, but oh well, I didn't think about that. Okay, I'm going to do number 12 now. So there's quite, you guys can't see it, sorry, but there's like, um, you can see the back of the apple has some, actually, you know what, I'm going to take a photo. Okay, I took a photo and I tried to match it completely to my eye line. Look how tiny that photo is. I hope you guys are going to be able to see that. Okay, I'm going to try and get this um, dark kind of bit at the back, which kind of uh, really makes the, the silhouette strong. This is going to be 12, okay? I feel like I need more paint strokes, more paint strokes. All right, now I'm going to do 13. And there's a, like this dark patch here. I think we need a little bit of a darker blue to get like a a nice dark ready violet colour. And I don't think when I was watching his video, he did, he counted the background because he really went to town on the background after he painted the subject. So... I'm just counting the object and possibly the shadow, and then I'll go in and do the background after. So this is gonna be uh, 14, I think, oh my gosh. 14, 15, it's a little bit here, like 16. And I'm gonna have to come in with some white for that highlight after. But right now I'm just trying to get the general shape of it completely forgot what I'm up to. 16? Am I up to 16? Okay, 17. Maybe. Could be 18, who knows. Um, 18. I haven't never drawn an apple really like this before, so I'm actually really confused about what I'm doing. Um, nine, 19. This is 20. Just that little bit was 20. 21 in the corner. Does that even look like an apple? I can't tell. I think it needs some more greens in it. And it needs a bit more red at the bottom because it's obviously uh, facing away. Like even though it's quite overcast in here, it's facing away from the window. So this should really be in a bit of shadow. So this is 21. Guys, I'm really sorry if I've stopped counting. <laughs> if I stop counting. I'm just gonna call this 21. 21. 22. Okay, I'm gonna work on the shadow at the bottom before I run out of numbers. Oh, 23. That was 20, 24. Let's just say that was 20. I don't even think the background counts, to be honest. Okay. This is 25. Just trying to get, like, a little bit more shape in here. 26. So I'm just kind of using these last ones up to just try and, like, trying to get a little bit more shape. And I'm doing that with, like, downward strokes rather than around strokes. So it almost looks like it's catching some light. So this is 27. Okay, that was 27. And, oh, you know what, guys? I completely forgot the highlight. So let's get a little bit of white for the highlight. Well, the crystals I have is pearl peach. I don't actually have any white gouache right now. So I've got three more strokes to go. So this is going to be 28. This is going to be 29. And then one last one. We know what we need. The stalk. And... 30. <laughs> All right, guys. Oh my God, I'm looking on the camera and it actually looks a little bit like an apple. Like when I look at the page, it looks uh, not like an apple. All right, um, right, let's do the background. I'm just gonna do it in lavender and then try and fix the shadow up. And I'm not gonna worry, like I'm just gonna basically say the background 
background is free for all, you know? But yeah, if I had um more room, like I definitely would do it. If I had more fruit, I would do this again. I have tangerines actually in the fridge and I also have half a pineapple. I kind of just wanted you to do one today just to get the feeling of the exercise. Maybe in the week or next weekend, do like a whole page, which I think would be kind of fun. Not quite sure what I've done with the shadow, like this weird green shadow. I'm going to mix in some yellow. You know what? If I mix in yellow, it's just going to turn grey, isn't it? I'm okay with that. I'm not even sure what I'm doing right now. I just kind of wanted to put a bit of extra colour in. Can you mess in the background up? What are you doing, April? Should have just kept it purple. It's fine, guys. Acrylic wash is, like, amazing at covering things up. Look at that. Almost like it was meant to be. And then I think I'm going to try and do a shadow on the bottom so the apple doesn't look like it's just floating. Ta-da! What do you reckon? It's kind of like abstract art, isn't it? I know it's a little bit silly, but I just wanted to try this exercise and actually it was really fun. So let me know, did I cheat by not including the background? Does this look like an apple? And would you try this yourself? I definitely say go for it. It's fun. Cool. And literally that took me maybe 15 minutes of that. Yeah, 15 minutes I've been filming for. Ta-da, 30 strokes or less, apple. And look, watch. I mean, basically, they're exactly the same. It's Monday morning now, and I'm just popping on to say hello and goodbye before I end the vlog. I hope that you enjoyed this shorter vlog this week. Uh, we did get up to a little bit, but to be honest, this week I kind of had a more of a chill one. I was just like relaxing a little bit, playing some video games, which I did pretty much most of the day yesterday. Uh, I think I've been working pretty hard the last month and I just needed like a little bit of a break and some downtime, which was nice. Yesterday, Martin and I played that Velheim game for like four hours, maybe five hours, I'm not sure. He played more than me, he kept building stuff. It's quite a fun game bit slow going to begin with but yeah it was fun and also I've been working on my illustration project so if you didn't know uh, over on Patreon I'm working on my children's book illustration portfolio this year so every month I'm doing a different project and I'm getting to the end of this month's one and then we'll start a new one next month which is exciting so if you want to see that you can check it out on Patreon and that's about it so some exciting news is it's easter uh weekend this weekend that's not that exciting but i've got another an extra two days off so i actually have six days off from friday till wednesday um and i'm going to be i'm sure there'll be a lot in the vlog because i'm getting up to a lot i really want to try and work on my etsy update next weekend because i have been putting it like on the back burner a little bit this week and last week week before that <laughs> so I need to get into gear and start that and also next month I have a crazy goal I don't know if I'll be able to hit it but I do have a goal I really want to see if I can do more twitch I've literally only done three twitch streams so you're probably thinking April steady on but I'm going to see if I can hit um twitch affiliate next month which I don't think I'll be able to do but it's the main thing is you have to stream 25 hours over eight streams so it's like almost two a week and uh there's a whole bunch of other stuff with like numbers of viewers and consecutive viewers and stuff that's the thing i don't think i'm gonna hit but i might be able to do eight streams and 25 hours if you want to join us on twitch i will be announcing those on instagram hopefully at least a day before but sometimes i forget i was meant to do one this weekend and then it got to sunday afternoon and i was like wait a minute i forgot about that so that's just you know weekend brain but i'm gonna go now and stop rambling and get on with the rest of my day so i hope that you have a lovely uh, rest of your week until we meet again in the next video thanks for watching bye